We're being asked to solve the system of equations using substitution, so solution. So substitution means that we pick one of the equations, like say this one, and then solve for one of the variables. For example, we could solve for x. After we solve for x, we plug the x into the first equation. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll go ahead and write down the second equation first. So x plus 3y equals negative 8. And we're going to solve this equation for x. So to do that, we'll first subtract 3y from both sides. So minus 3y, minus 3y. These cancel, and you get x equals minus 3y minus 8. At this point, we're going to take the x, and we're going to plug into the other equation. Okay, we're going to plug it into the other equation, so into the first equation. So I'm going to write this down again. So 2x plus y equals negative 11. And now we're going to replace x with all of this. So this is 2 times x, but x is this. So negative 3y minus 8 plus y, and then equals negative 11. Let's carefully distribute everything. So 2 times negative 3y is negative 6y. 2 times negative 8 is negative 16 plus y equals negative 11. Combine like terms if we can. Looks like we have a negative 6y and a positive y. So that's negative 5y minus 16 equals negative 11. Almost done. Add the 16 plus 16 plus 16. And so we get negative 5y equals 5. Finally, to isolate the y, divide by negative 5. And we end up with y equals negative 1. Now, we're going to take this y, and we're going to plug it anywhere, into any other equation we like. So we can use this one, we can use this one. Let's use this one. This seems like the easiest one to use. So x is equal to negative 3y minus 8. So x equals negative 3 times negative 1 minus 8. So x is 3 minus 8, which is negative 5. So x is negative 5. And that's it. We're done. A better way to write the answer is to write it as an ordered pair. So the final answer would be in the form x comma y. So it would be negative 5 comma negative 1. And that's it.